Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. It's Thursday, and I've got some boxes. They've got slabs. Let's take a look. Alright guys, if there's one thing you know about me, it's I love my slabs. And so we've got uh, a couple here that came back from CGC, and we've got a couple pickups. So I want to take a look and see what we got here. Um, first up, this should be the, uh, yeah, this is from CGC. So these should be just a pair of books that I sent off um, that, with along with that recent uh, uh, spider batch of books that you saw me unbox last week or if you didn't see it uh, we'll go ahead and watch that video um, but anyways uh, these ones didn't have custom labels so they were sent in as a separate submission um, so these were also modern books I do like to hang on to these cardboards because these make these are nice to reuse later all right so let's all right oh first book up this was a book uh, I picked up at um, a con recently I was hoping for a 9 8 this is gargoyles number one um, I picked it up raw was hoping for a 9 8 uh, a little disappointed to see a 9 6 out of it um, oh 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 all right, so this is a got an embossed cover. Um, I doubt it's gonna come up, but right there you go. You can sort of see right there, and not as much there, but that's the big spot right there. There's one little minor hiccup along the spine, but so minor that it could have gotten a nine eight potentially from just normal handling wear. But that little ding. Right there, that's just gonna kid it and cause it to miss the nine eight. So, all right, well, it doesn't matter. I still love this book. I grew growing up. Uh, well, I didn't grow up watching the series. This was more actually the series came out more. I was a young young adult at the time, but I still watched some cartoons uh, because we were cool back then. And Gargoyles was one of those ones I totally dig. Um, so I'm happy with the new series that's come out. Uh, this is not the recent facsimile. This is the original OG embossed cover, Gargoyles number one in a 9.6 uh, based on the animated series. So it's funny is it just says based on the animated series. doesn't bother to mention it. It's the, it would then therefore be the first appearance of all those characters, right? Anyways. All right. And the other one was a book I picked up off of um, an Instagram seller. Um, and this book, I actually know. I mean, this came back. It's Nova number one, Richard Ryder in an 8.0. Um, I was hoping for an 8.5, come back in 8.0. Um, I looked at the grader's notes already, and it lists a bunch of things that should be uh, pressable defects. And I did set it for repressing, and I still do see some evidence of a few minor things, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to crack it and resubmit it uh, because, I, like I said, I did have it pressed, but. More importantly, there's a bunch of color rub that runs right down. There's like right along here. And that I think is sufficient enough that it's going to prevent it from getting um, anything higher than the eight anyways. There's a little chipping on the back side. Some chipping down along the bottom of the back side on the ad. Um, so yeah, I... I, I'm not going to argue with the 8.0. I'm happy. Uh, I didn't own this book. I wanted a copy. Now I have a copy. And if he ever shows up anything, great. I'm all good on my spec game. And if he doesn't, that's fine. I have a nice marble key. Okay. Uh, next up. This. Oh. <laughs> so this was an eBay sale. Um, actually, it was a funny thing. It was, it's a pawn, it was a pawn shop. That was selling on eBay. I had this book. I've been looking for this book for a while. 
everybody wanted just not fair prices um, for the book. And fine, these guys had a pretty darn close to reasonable price. And I decided, what the hell? They didn't have a make an offer, but I messaged them. What the hell? So I messaged them and I offer. I said, "Hey, you know, I see this book. Would you be willing to sell it for this?" Next thing I know, they made they made me an offer with that price. And I was like, "Now, this is really not a good way to ship slabs, guys." Um, they had it in a box. They had some packing paper, but they're using air pack, and they've taped the air pack around it to try to be like bubble wrap. But they only went this way. This side is hard slab. Um, I'm hoping there's not any slab damage here because, um, it's just not protected. I mean, look, I just took the book out just like that. Um, horrible. Fortunately, as I look at it, it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't see any cracks on the slab, so that's great. Oh, I see. Well, that's a big issue with that book. No wonder that book's that great. Okay, nothing, no pressing is going to fix that. All right, so this is a book I've been looking for. I wanted it in like about a 5 to 6.0. Uh, this is Showcase number 19. This is the third appearance of Adam Strange. So Showcase number 17 right there over my shoulder is the first appearance of Adam Strange. Uh, this is not, Showcase 18 uh, I have put away. Uh, that's a second appearance and then this is the third appearance and then eventually after this he then shows up in mystery in space starting with issue 53 where he takes over that title as the main character in the title for a while um, but so but this is of the first I didn't do this one to complete my trilogy of showcase books but of the three this is probably the most interesting one to me in that you know here's he is on the jet pack with bubble helmets. Uh, they're out in space. He's saving Alana. I'm not quite understanding why she's being um, attracted to this magnetic meteorite. She must be an android. She's not. Um, but I guess maybe we just kind of ignore the fact that she's not made of metal. And just, it's a comic book. Now, what I noticed here as I was looking at this up close, uh, why it's definitely a 5.0. There's some, being a black cover, there's some very minor spine stuff, but you can see right here. Um, oh, there you go. You can see right there, there's that, there's a chunk of the cover missing there. Um, then, of course, there's some minor little doodads and whatnots, but that's fine. Again, 5.0 was uh, after. It presents beautifully. Just an awesome. Completes my trilogy there. Love it. Adam Strange. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! All right. Last book. So this book is from Shortbox. Um, now, Shortbox, a selling platform app, uh, They've been on only slabs, uh, the CEO. So I like the app. I mean, as far as selling platforms go, uh, it's great. Its focus is on slab books. It's simply CGC and CBCS books only. They're there. Um, seller selling short boxed uh, acts as an intermediary and guarantees the uh, items you get. Um, I had did have a I did buy something that had an issue and short box resolved it right away. So I can know, I can speak from experience that they'll solve the problems. I just recently started putting a few things up there myself. It's super seamless transactions. Um, you know, from that aspect goes, I love it. Um, so anyways, uh, I did have recently when the guys were on, uh, they created a, uh, code, uh, only slabs, all one word. Uh, which, if you use it before March 1st of 2023, you could get $15 off any book over $100. So I had been looking around for a book, and this was a book I actually had, um, oh my god, a billion little single sheets of, this is also not the best way to... I mean, this is better than that air pack, but this is a series of single sheets of bubble wrap that are taped together. Um, it definitely makes for a mess. Not the best way. Oh, 
the infamous uh, uh, plastic trash bag. And then we have some cardboard to protect it, but it's that great, look, it's a flappy, um, whatever. Not everybody knows what they're doing. I guess I'm going to make a video on how to package slabs next. Anyways, um, so this is a, this book, I had this, I had, uh, you can like it, like, like items, and then you can track them for a period of time. Uh, somebody, the seller sent an offer. It was already a good price, but then they put an offer on it, uh, out on there. And I finally, I, I resisted it the first time. And the next time he sent the same offer again, or maybe it was a slightly better offer. Um, I couldn't r risk it go disappearing. I needed this for my PC because I did not have it yet. Major DC key. Um, Detective Comics 359, the first appearance of Batgirl. I know you're thinking, Rob, how did you not have this book? Um, I just never did. I'd been focusing on Batman. I didn't. I have not been going and getting the Detective Comics books um, for the most part. Uh, so I hadn't gone back and gotten any of those major keys, really. Um, and this is probably one of the biggest ones that was sitting there that I really kind of wanted to get at some point so there we go uh 4.5 totally respectable um origin and first appearance of bad girl barbara gordon uh with a killer moth appearance this one's just got a bunch of um it's got a whole mess of spine ticks and some stuff along the other front edge there the back side um got a little not much a little schmutz boring backside really but anyways so there you go i mean i don't know which one your favorite guys i mean Batgirl is pretty tough to beat, but I mean, you know me and my love for bubble helmets and Adam Strange, that's right up there. And then of course, Richard Ryder and the Gargoyles, man. I mean, this is just, this is slabberous. It's spendificless. It's, ugh. Leave a comment down below me with what you thought. Guys, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Hitting that like button actually does a lot for us. Uh, YouTube likes to match up videos to suggest videos to people based on uh, videos that were liked by other people who have similar interests and such. And you're doing that's going to help us to get in front of other people. More importantly, it's going to get our ads in front of other people. And that ad revenue on this channel goes to Comics Curing Cancer. I keep none of the ch channel revenue that's generated here whether it's be ads subscriptions memberships super chats thank you stickers whatever all of that uh goes to comics curing cancer which is part of the american cancer society so uh thank you all very much for your support hitting that like button commenting etc etc uh, and guys and until next time collect what you want don't listen to anybody including myself I mean, i'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.